Zika and politics are combining tonight in the Florida Keys as well. There's a battle over how to kill the mosquito that spreads the virus, and there is no shortage of controversy. CBS 4's Gary Nelson has the story from Key Largo. The Florida Keys can be as controversial as they are colorful, and there is great controversy now over a plan to use genetically modified mosquitoes to fight the mosquito that carries the Zika virus. In Brazil, the British firm Oxitec releases millions of laboratory-bred mosquito-killing mosquitoes, males genetically altered to impregnate females whose offspring don't survive. And from a secure lab in the Florida Keys, Oxitec has made the case for using its lab-grown bugs to kill off 80s Egypti on the island string. Where we've shown greater than 90% control of the mosquito population. It's been proven safe and effective in trials in Cayman, Panama, and Brazil. But outside, demonstrators decry the notion of Key's conks being used as lab rats. We don't have enough risk assessment. We, they have not answered questions properly, they've lied repeatedly to us can't trust the company. Just this month, the FDA green-lighted a genetically altered mosquito trial in a small Key West neighborhood, a political decision critics say amid the Zika scare. I don't necessarily feel like the environmental assessment process is a very rigorous scientific process. All the material is produced by Oxitec and fed to the FDA. Oxitec says that's partly true, but its killer mosquitoes have been vetted by the FDA, EPA, and alphabet soup of federal agencies. Phil Goodman chairs the elected Keys Mosquito Control Board and supports the genetic warfare, saying traditional methods just aren't working. With all of the Herculean efforts that we're doing at the Florida Keys Mosquito Control, we're only controlling 30 to 50, maybe maximum 60 percent at times of this mosquito. But some have questioned if the lab-grown anti-mosquito mosquitoes might have made matters worse, a suggestion Oxitec calls absurd. Still, critics say there are plenty of natural skeeter fighters, lizards, birds, voracious dragonflies, and organic pesticides proven safe and that don't bite. So who will decide this? Perhaps the voters. The five-member elected Keys Mosquito Control Board has voted to put this to a non-binding referendum of the people on the November 8th ballot. In Key Largo, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.